One of the most interesting factors that Chandrayaan-3 mission costed only around 75 million US dollars, approximately 615 crores. These are not final figures because that will have to be finalized through the department finally tying up every expenditure, approximately 615 crores. Then again, oft repeated uh, comparison, sir. Our Chandrayaan-3 commanded a lesser budget when compared to some of the movies which are made on space itself. You're making movies on space because we understand better, we want to know better, our future generation should know what it means and therefore interesting films are made. But those films costed more than actually just Chandrayaan-3. I'll give you a random selection of uh, film names and their cost. Interstellar costed $165 million. Passengers costed $110 million. The Martian, $108 million. Gravity, $100 million. And Chandrayaan, $75 million. As I said earlier, sir, innovative cost-cutting methods uh, are the reason why it took a few days more, but the gravitational pull and also the magnetic fields which drag the satellite and therefore exhaust the fuel in my pedestrian language, that is, I'm sure there are some scientists who will be here who will sneer at my language, but simply put, that's the reason why they chose the track with which they could reach, even if it takes a few more days, it costed them less. Sir. So I'll come to the point that increasingly India's space programs are becoming Atmanirbhar. And the immense potential of homegrown industries and their technologies are now increasingly helping our expeditions to the space. Chandrayaan-3 benefited from this. I would like to highlight where these kind of um, Atmanirbhar Bharat has come to interplay with the space program. Uh, India, actually through the Chandrayaan-3, has displayed and showcased its capability to design, to develop, and to manufacture high-end equipments which are so required, but all domestically. Now, leading companies like Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, which provided significant mechanical hardware, and BHEL, the Bharat Heavy Electrical Limited, contributed with their titanium tanks, which was so crucial and actually helped in cutting cost as well, but a very innovative way in which we could do it. Sir, numerous private Indian firms have contributed uh, to this, particularly in the realms of mechanical and electronic fabrication. For a minute, I want to quote Vikram Sarabhai again. He says, if we are to play a meaningful role naturally and in the committee of nations, with the, um, we, must be, uh, we must be second to none in the application of advanced technologies, unquote. Now, these advanced technologies are not just coming from HAL and BHL. They sure, are, they sure are coming from HAL and BHL, but private players today are giving these high-end technologies, and they have made it an immense contribution to the efficiencies which are now getting recorded. Uh, the kind of equipments which we see in the Chandrayaan-3 are state-of-art scientific instruments which are being used, all of them which are developed in India. They include se uh, seismometer, Langmuir probe uh, instruments, thermal probe instruments, both X-ray and laser-based spec spectrometers. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.